it's Saturday. You know what that means. It is time for a weekly food pantry haul. So this week we went to the drive through one that we go to that's at a local church. And there, it's like, I like robbed the produce section at the store and took everything they had. It's crazy, the amount of produce that is here. I hope everyone's had a great week. We had a great weekend last weekend and went trick-or-treating. And then Wednesday, my husband woke up with 104 fever and I had a full body rash. So that was fun this week, a throw in the mix. But thankfully I didn't get it because I was so worried that I was gonna get it and then trying to take care of the babies because he was out for days. So this will be really good because his stomach is still, there's a fly. It is too cold for flies. It's like 30 degrees. It was 30 degrees when we went trick-or-treating. Um, that scared me. Um, his stomach is still pretty sensitive. So, well, I guess maybe. Yes and no, this will be good. Um, it'll be good anyways, but I was thinking the vegetables for his stomach, but there are a lot of tomatoes and that might not be good for his stomach. I feel like there's a shadow right there and it looks like I have a bruise. Um, so let me show you. A lot of this stuff is pretty beaten up so I'm gonna have a busy day of processing this because it needs to be dealt with like now and I still have apples from last week that I still am working on and they had like 10 pallets of apples that you could get out of the car and go pick through and I'm like I'm good I have apples coming out of my ears but we still got a bag of apples so I was thinking maybe of making some apple pie filling and canning that. Oh, my, the glare on my glasses. Um, I don't know. I need some ideas. Let me show you what we got. And then I need everybody to comment and tell me what to do with some of this stuff. Okay. Like I said, first we have a big bag of apples. It looks like maybe somebody's farm, a farmer maybe donated a bunch of this stuff. I don't know. But that's huge. And those look more fresh than they do store bought. Um, a bunch of bananas. These are very brown and kind of kind of open and easy. So we'll see if we can save those. Maybe some banana bread. Two onions. And then look at this. All these tomatoes. First of all, let me just show you. Like all the produce. That's crazy. But these tomatoes are, have seen better days. So I'm thinking I'm just going to can them, dice them and can them, maybe make tomato paste. That's kind of what I'm thinking for those. Then we have two bags of peaches and we still have a few left from last week, but the girls all love peaches. And then we come to the pepper station. So I believe these are Anaheim or Plabon, Plab oh no, I can't say it, not because I was trying to say it right. Can I make chili relleno with this? I think maybe these are the right kind of peppers. I have a bunch of probably spicy peppers and then all of these bell peppers. So I'm thinking with these, I'm gonna cut, and what's funny is I just bought bell peppers at Sam's Club because they're 350 for six. And I just opened the package this morning when I made breakfast. But um, I'm going to slice some of these up and freeze them for the winter. And then I was wondering if I made stuffed bell peppers and froze them for just like quick dinners, how they would freeze that way. I assume the same if I'm freezing them in slices. So I was thinking maybe of doing that and just not cooking the outer part. That was one idea. Or salsa was my other idea for the peppers and the tomatoes and the onion because that kind of seemed like they were handing me a recipe or the ingredients for a recipe for salsa. <clears throat> um, six yellow squash. These are big suckers. Three of these, I think they're two pounds each, strawberries. And they came in this box, which I don't even know what store that's from. But some of them... Are a little yucky so we're gonna go through those and then I store mine in mason jars and they last a really long time or not a really long time but longer than normal um, I was kind of actually really excited about this 
We love a roasted veggie. Recipe ready veggie pot roast blend. So it's the, what they're considering the veggies that you would put with your roast. And it has like the fresh herbs in it. There's some condensation, but it looks like carrots, potatoes, and maybe a yam. But I'll roast that up without the pot roast. And then we have some ready-made stuff. So there's this egg salad. There is a chef salad. And this, I think, is not good. So this, I'm just going to toss out because there's meat and egg in there. And it is... Okay. We're just going to throw that one away. <laughs> um, this is a pecan chicken salad. And th these three, well, not that one because we're tossing that. The egg salad and the chicken salad, uh, we're going to sniff and make sure because those are two things that you can get sick from. And we do not need to be sick again. Organic uncured beef frankenfurter. Frankfurt, oh my gosh. I swear I can talk and then I start to talk and then I just totally butcher the word. These were probably super expensive because they're grass-fed beef hot dogs. I don't even know the last time we've had hot dogs in the house. Probably the last time we got them because I don't usually buy them. But my husband loves hot dogs. Um, these are a, apple and maple plant-based breakfast sausage. And breakfast, not breakfast, uh, plant-based stuff has actually really gotten good. Like I said last week or the week before when we got all those Impossible Burgers. They've really come up since when I was younger. So I hope those are really good. Now these are questionable as well so these are apricots with sugar and it says keep frozen and they're not frozen they're probably fine i might give these to the chickens just because i don't know if i want to give my kids just apricots and sugar interruption from the biggest kid two things of sour cream and then these items here I'm probably going to toss as well maybe not I'll see this is poofy on the top which means that there is air in there and it could be bacteria but it is a lemon curd yogurt and then this one has a puncture in it and I don't know where the puncture came from I don't know if I did it or if it was there already I pulled it out and it had a hole so I think just to err on the side of safety maybe not those a upstart kombucha kombucha however you say it it is lemon ginger this might be good for him for his stomach since this is really good for gut health we have an undecorated sheet cake back here so i'm sure the big kid will have fun putting frosting on this and eating some because she likes to decorate cakes and bake and do that kind of stuff and then we have two breads we have a artisanal Smooth multigrain, that looks really good. And then Italian Parmesan breadsticks. They don't really look like breadsticks though, they just look like two pieces of bread. So that was what we got this week, crazy. And I'm going to get right to processing all of this stuff and putting it away so it does not go bad. So thank you for stopping by and watching oh i got something on my face for stopping and watching the video and me trying to not have a glare in my glasses i hope you have a great week if you are in need of any help food wise check out your local food pantries not all of them are the same some of them are better some of them are worse but if you need help and you feel okay because doing food like this because sometimes you have to pick through it i highly suggest checking out food pantries near you have a great week it's much later in the day this is what we've done so far i went through all the strawberries and took out all of the ones that were bad and put them in the fridge for the girls they're so good and um i processed all the bell peppers so i have some diced that i'm going to put in the freezer 
And then I have some chopped that I'm not sure if I'll put in the freezer or if I'll just use this week for dinner. And then I made stuffed bull peppers. I'm not going to put the cheese on it because I can do that when I make them. And I usually cut the tops off and stuff them, but these were like long and skinny. Sorry, my shadow, it's like six o'clock at night. Um, so I did them half and it's just ground beef with, um, well, it was supposed to be tomato sauce, but I accidentally put tomato soup in there. Well, I opened tomato soup, so I said, whatever we're using it, we're not gonna waste it. Some cabbage, carrot, zucchini, um, and then a can of tomato sauce, a small can, and then I blended up a bunch of the tomatoes from today and made that. And then Josh is going through the tomatoes right now and separating what's good and bad. And then, I haven't even cleaned up yet from my mess from stuffing those. It is pizza night. Look at that deliciousness of a pizza. I'm so excited for pizza night. Well, that's what we've done so far. She's at the table. She's very busy. And I will add, if I do anything else, I'm probably going to can the peaches and then make something with the apples. I don't know. Apple ideas. I guess I could dehydrate them, huh? You know, oh, my niece has my dehydrator. I don't know. Send me some ideas. Okay. See you later.